Okay, let's finish up with one more episode for the day. Yay! I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. Right down the middle. Whoa! What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Looks like a TV set. Is this a studio? All oh, this fog. Or is it smoke? There's Radio no place like this in Inaba, me? is there? No, no. But man, this place is huge. What stu are we gonna do? Studio. G good plan. Look, we need to get home and... Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Huh? Above. I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Man, look at all the piss color we have. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Onwards, onwards, into the spooky door. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <laughs> huh? What the... Oh, well. It's a dead end. There's no exit. Uh, what about all the blood? It's getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Is that semen on the wall? Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Uh, probably! I mean, I would guess. Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? 
There's something over there. It's the chupacabra. Oh, it's a bear. A clown. A bear clown. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. Well, what are you? You want to fight? The, don't yell at me like that. Dream? What are you talking about? I've always lived here. It's real, see? You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back. Someone's been throwing people... Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on here? Don't hide behind me. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? I turned into a TV! What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Oh, I was behind the TV. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Whoa, Stop calm down pushing. there, you weird bear. Stop touching our asses. Make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hang- Yeah, stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. Mood. Hey, welcome home. Um, but have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn.
She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Yeah, a uh, dude. Along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. I think I've caught up to about where I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm caught up in the same area. Oh look, another dead body. Oh, Saki's body. She dead. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. That <laughs> I don't know. That just feels so good. Uh, yep. Well, I'm off. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Damn. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Here? About that, right? I saw it too. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So 
So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so great. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe... Just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, maybe. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Yeah, I agree. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Yes. And that's where we're going to end it for today, people. Uh, next time I come back, we're finally going to actually get to some gameplay. <laughs> Thank you guys wa for watching this beginning stuff. The spread. 
I'll see you guys next time.